are the healed of the Lord. Jehovah Rapha has taken sickness and disease away from the midst of us. We have a sound mind and a sound body. We energize, revitalize, transform, renewed, restored powerhouses for God. We curse at the root every sickness, every disease, every pain, every virus, every infirmity that would try to attack us and we plead blood of Jesus over our bodies and that the healing power of God continually surrounds us, keeps us, preserves our entire system. Church, We have strong marriages and families that are knitted together in love and rooted in the word of God. Wives are submitted to their own husbands as unto the Lord and the husbands love their wives as Christ loves the church. Our youth fear the Lord and obey and honor their parents. We bind every demonic attack against our fam families and we speak life, joy, love, peace over our household, church. The supernatural word of God is prevailing in every area of our lives. We are fighting a good fight of faith, laying hold to eternal life. We are overcomers, and our faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Now, thanks be unto God, who always causes us to triumph in Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. I tell you, in times like these, you know, the word of the Lord tells us that we can come boldly yes. to the throne of grace at the time of leaving. And he will hear us our prayer. Yes, he will. Because in this life, we all need the Lord. Oh, yes, we you know, we all need the Lord. One might be going through this and some going through that, but we all need the Lord. Yes, and the Lord said, call the Lord. And I'll answer you and show you some great mighty things that you know is not. So whatever the problem, God... I need my Lord.
was a truth on Amen. 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 Come. When we just think about the goodness of the Lord, it just, just, it just makes you want to shout. Amen. Amen. It makes you get up in the morning and say, Thank you, Lord. Get up in the morning and say, Oh, I praise you, man. I give you glory this morning for another day that I never seen before. Could have been dead. Might have should have been dead. Sleeping in my grave. But look at Jesus. Yes, sir. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Amen. And it's good to see so many no beautiful faces in the house of the Lord. Oh, and the Lord is pleased that we're here today. Yeah, he's pleased. Huh? You know, and I can feel the spirit of the Lord in this place. The spirit of the he's here right now. You know, I know when, when he shows up, I get overflow. Overflow. Somebody said overflow. Yeah, he's here. And uh, he got a word for you today. And it's coming out of Hebrews 11 and 6. Amen. Amen. But Hebrews. 11 and 6. Father God, we just thank you for yes, the opportunity to be used, baby. And oh God, I just ask today that you feel me afresh with your Holy Spirit oh, to you speak your word. Amen. Use me as your mouthpiece to be a blessing to you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let your word sink deep in their heart yes, Lord. and bring Lord. forth Lord. good fruits. And Lord, so that we may live the Victorious life oh, yes, that you yes, gave Lord. your life that we might live. Yes, thank you. In Jesus' thank you. name. Jesus, Amen. 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 Yeah, Hebrews 11, 11, 6. And he says, uh, very familiar scripture. Amen. Amen. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Amen. For he that cometh to God, must believe that he is mm -hmm. and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Amen. And uh, we're going to use for a topic to this message today develop an uncommon faith. Amen. Everybody shout that. Develop an uncommon faith. Develop an uncommon faith. And, uh, church, we know that we got to have faith. This is a faith walk. Amen. The scripture says that we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. And, uh, Romans 1 16, it says that the just shall live by faith. And it and, and, and when we're talking about living by faith, and uh, we're talking about it's impossible to please God without faith, and that we must have faith. Well, what are we going to have faith in? we got to have faith in God. we got to have faith in God. And we got to have faith in the Word of God. And we gotta have faith in the promises of God. God. Yes, amen. You know, God has put in His holy Bible a promise for everything that concerns life. Amen. Amen. And a good life for His children. Amen. But we just got to get in there and dig and find the promises mm -hmm. that fit our situation for whatever we are believing for, and then have faith in God to perform. I have faith in God that has already been performed. Amen. Over 2,000 years ago at Calvary, when Jesus died for us, yes. he paid the price Amen. for our salvation. He paid the price for our deliverance, our healing, our prosperity. He paid the price for it all. Amen. But now we just got to get the promises and stand on the promises. And I have faith that the promises are going to come forth in our life. 
that God is going to bring them to pass in our life. Now he rules, he loves them six thousands that without faith. And if we don't have no faith, well, we can't please God. We can't get anything from the Lord. But if we have faith to believe that God is God, He is who He says He is. He is the creator of this universe. He is our Heavenly Father. It's nothing too hard for God. He said in His Word that the, the word that goes forth out of his mouth ain't going to return unto him. Lord, amen. But it's going to accomplish the thing that he said enough to do. Amen. It's going to come back. It's going to do what he said enough to do. Amen. We just got to believe on that word of God. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. He said we must believe that he is who he say he is and he'll do in our life, not just in the preacher life, but in my life, what he said, he'll do. He'll do. And then the scripture goes on and say, and he is a what? He is a reward. Somebody say, I'm ready for my reward. He'll reward a of them that diligently. You know what that diligent talking about? Diligent talking about seeking. Listening to the word. Listen to what he said. Doing what he said. Giving him the praise. Giving him the honor, the glory. That diligence. Always looking for the Lord. Always listening for a word from him. Always seeing what he got on his mind for me. Amen. And staying in his word. And, and, and listening to his word. And filling our spirits with his word. Amen. And he's a reward. That means you're going to get the thing that you believe in for. Amen. If you believe in for healing, healing coming. Oh, yeah. If you stand on that word of God, you got faith in that word of God. Amen. Amen. If you believe in that house, he got a house for you with your name on. Yes, no. Amen. Amen. But we got to have faith that God going to do what he said he do. Amen. What scripture are you standing on? Well... I believe Philippians 4 19 say he'll supply all you need. Amen. I call to the riches in God. And your need is a house. Well, Lord, I need a house, and I'm believing your word. Amen. And then what you gonna do? Mark uh, 11 and 20. He tells us in Mark 11 and 20, he said, Have faith Amen. in God. In God. Amen. And whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, Amen. and be thou cast into a sea, Amen. and not doubt in your heart. See, you can't doubt in your heart, Amen. but believe that those things you say gonna come to pass. Amen. See, you got to believe oh, yeah. that God another believe. Amen. And if you believe, you shall Amen. receive Amen. whatsoever you say, Amen. and you got to speak something. Amen. You got to confess something. Yeah, yeah. See, to make your faith work. Amen. You have to, and, and a lot of times people don't understand that you got to help your faith. You got to release your faith. Amen. See, you can have faith, but you don't release that faith. That faith ain't moving. Faith is like a spirit, like a servant faith. Amen. To go and do the thing that you said not to do. That to go bring it in. Faith is the substance of what you're hoping for. And the evidence of things not seen. Your faith will, will make it work. Hallelujah. But you got to release it by speaking. That's why Jesus said, Whosoever shall say to this mountain, not, not just a little the mountain, but he talking about whatever problem in your way. Amen. If it be a sickness or a disease or a poverty, whatever holding back the blessing that God got for you. Speak to it in the name of Jesus. Amen. And tell Amen. it to move. Yes. I heard some people say, move, mountain, move. Amen. And speak to it in faith. Amen. Say something. Release your faith. Speak it out. And it says, and say not down in your heart, but believe those things that, that you say. Amen. Amen. He said, you shall have Amen. what you you should have what you say. What we got to understand, churches, we are a different ball game now that you say. 
We're in a new world since we saved. Amen. Since we become saved and, and a child of God, we are uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says we become a new creation. Amen. In the spirit, we become a new creation. We ain't the same old same old. We might same on the outside, but we different on the inside. Now we got to believe this by faith. We got to believe this because this is what the Bible says. We got to believe this because that Bible is the word of God. We got to believe this because something happened on the inside of us when we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. For some reason now we don't want to go but we used to go. Amen. See, since we've been saved and we're a new creation, we can't be around a lot of that junk that we used to be around. Amen, amen. See, it's a change that come in our life. Oh, yeah. Light that yeah. come in our life. Amen. Amen, and we don't feel right in darkness. Amen. See, we used to be in darkness and want no shame. Uh. But now when we walk in darkness, something happens. Amen. 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 So Amen. You better hear them get out of here. Amen. All day long. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But we're a new creation now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And when we became born again, now the Spirit of God is dwelling on the inside wow. of us. Amen. Amen. He's dwelling he in us. God on the inside of us. Christ in us. The hope of God. Amen. Somebody say Jesus in me. Jesus in me. Amen. Amen. And God said He was going to put His Spirit on the inside of us. Amen. Oh, thank God for the Holy Spirit. He on the inside of us. He leading us now. Yes, He is. He guiding us now. He telling us what's true or not. Amen. He directing our footsteps. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. He's on in. Now he's given us power that we didn't have to do what we used to couldn't do. Amen. How many know we serve a supernatural God? Amen. He spoke the word and created the world. Amen. Amen. He's supernatural. He's a, he's a supernatural God. And then he turned around and made us when we accepted Christ our Savior. He made us children of God. Amen. We children of him. He made us in his own name. Yes, Lord. And in his own likeness. Amen. Somebody said I look just like my dad. I look just like my dad. I act like my dad. I talk like, talk my, like dad. my dad. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, he said he's our father. He said now, now that you've been born again, mm -hmm. when you pray, you don't have to say pray and big old God. Uh -huh. And all this, he said just say, our father. Our father. Just call me daddy. Amen. Because you made my image in my life. You just like me. You can do things just the way I do things. But you got to do it by what? You got to do it by faith. We walk by. And not by sight. We call on things that be not. As though they were. God will say I'm sick. But the word say I'm healed. I'm healed. Come on. In Jesus the world might say I'm poor, but the word says I'm, I'm rich. I'm rich. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Some people say I can't do nothing. But, Christ, but God say I can do all things. Do Christ. Yeah. And we talk about how to develop faith, because it's a faith walk. Amen. We got to have faith in what we're going through with this earth. Every day we got to have faith that God is in us. He's on our side. He's working with us. He's leading us. He got us. Somebody said we need God. We need God. We need God. We need this word of God to have the interests of this life. And we got to do it by faith. Amen. And, and God already said that when we come into the kingdom, he gives every man the measure of faith. Amen. So we got faith, but we just need to increase our faith. Amen. We just need to, we, we got to build our faith muscles. Amen. Just like we build this, this body up. Mm -hmm. yes. We got to build our faith up so we can believe God for some miracles. Amen. Where we can believe God for some jobs. Where we can believe God now. Amen. 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 We got to, we got to use our faith. Yeah, yeah. Have a faith in God. Oh, amen. God, He and answer prayers. 
Amen. And develop that faith. And the number one thing we're going to develop that faith is over in the Hebrew, Hebrews, uh, Hebrews 12. One chapter over. Hebrews 12 and 1. Yeah. The number one thing we need to do to develop this faith is Hebrews 12 and 1. It says, Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a kind of witnesses, let us lay aside every way. And the sin which do it so easily beset us. Yes. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Amen. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. But the number one thing that we want to do is develop our faith, we want to look to Jesus. Jesus, amen. Somebody say, look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus, who was the author amen. and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Through Christ now, amen. we can do all things. Amen. He already has given unto every man the measure of faith. Amen. faith. Amen. But listen, the more we hear this word of God, the more we stay in this body, the more we listen to gospel souls, the more we listen to God, our faith increases. Amen. Amen. Romans 4 17 says, Faith, it comes by. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of folks say, Well, how do you get that kind of faith? Faith comes by hearing. But not one time, but hearing. And hearing. And hearing. In here, the more you hear this word of God, Amen. Amen. See, that's why God put Bible study, Amen. Sunday school, so we can hear this word and develop our faith and believe Him for miracles in our life. Amen. Believe Him for some supernatural things. How many of y'all want to be dead free? Amen. Amen. How many believe God can make them dead free? Amen. Amen. We all ought to be raised in our hand by faith. And believe in that God can make us definitely nothing too hard for God. And the time He take the Red Sea and make two million people walk through on dry land. Hallelujah. And the time He make these people go into a film with this little boy in the casket, Jesus come along and touch that casket, little boy come back to life. Amen. So I'm saying, I know He can make my death. Hallelujah. But you guys got to believe our faith. Yes, yes. You got to find your scripture and stand upon it. Amen. I think Romans 13 and 8 say, Oh, no man, nothing but the love. Amen. 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 And then you stand on that word. Lord, I thank you. I owe no man, nothing but the love. Amen. You release your faith by speaking the promise yes, of God. Yes. Release it, speak it, confess it. Hallelujah. Faith works if you work it. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody shout, I'm here. I'm here. Yes, that's what it takes. That's what Satan wants to do. He wants to take away your confession. Yeah, he don't want you to confess this word. Amen. He don't want to use it. He's after your faith. Amen. Amen. But we want to look to Jesus. Who's the author and the finisher of our faith? Amen. Second thing we want to do is make the word of God final thought. Yeah. Make the word of God final thought. Amen. I know what the doctors say. But do you know what the word say? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know what they say, but make what God word say. Amen. The final thought. Oh, yeah, look at Proverbs 4 and 20. Proverbs 4 and 20. Make the word of God the final thought. Anything that happened in your life, go to this word. Tell you maybe you're in the right place. You're in the right place. At the right time. At the right time. To hear a word from the Lord. No matter what you're going through today. Amen. God got a word on it. Amen. 
just singing the song, it's all in the word of God. It's all in the word of God. All we got to do is open this Bible. And say we want to keep something from uh, some people. Let's put it in the book. But thank God. Thank God we open the book. Somebody said, I read the book. I can read the book. I meditate. I can meditate. Hallelujah. It's life in this word. Amen. Yes, it is. It's life in this word. Amen. Yeah. Proverbs 420. He said, uh, My son and daughters who he talked to the women, attend unto my word. He told me, listen to me. Amen. You hear my word, listen to my word. Attend unto it. Pay attention. Yeah. He said, incline thine ear unto my son. Amen. Incline means to lean. Amen. Lean towards what I'm saying. Amen. You know, it's a lot of voices in the world today. Oh, yeah. Some we don't need to lean to. Amen. Glory. But we need to lean to what the Lord is saying. Amen. Yes, Amen. Pay attention to what he's saying. Because he's talking right now. Amen. You know, people say, well, uh -oh, speak to me, Lord. Well, he, he's Amen. speaking. He, he used verses to speak to. He used the book to speak to. Amen. He always tried to speak to us. Yes. Amen. He said, 21, let his word, let them not depart from your eyes. Keep me. Keep this Bible in front of you. Mm -hmm. Let keep them in the midst of your heart. Give them down your heart. Not talking about your little heart, but in your spirit. spirit. Get spirit. this word. Get this word in your ear. Yeah, Listen to the music and let it get in your heart. Mm -hmm. Speak the word. Read out loud. Let it get in your ear. Get down in your spirit. Yes. Let the word look at it. Let it get in your eyes and to your spirit. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Amen. 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 Why? For 22, for they are what? Life. A life. Amen. life. Unto those that find them. Amen. And help to all their flesh. Amen. And that help talking about medicine. medicine. Amen. Somebody said the word is medicine. The word is medicine. Now 23, keep thy heart. Watch your heart. Oh, amen. Watch your heart, children. Hallelujah. Watch your heart. Watch your heart, grown folk. Watch your heart, Lord say. With all diligence. Mm -hmm. That means that means everything. You know, God your heart. And again, we're not just talking about this physical heart, but we're talking about your spirit. Amen. Man. amen. You know, watch it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it covered. Keep it covered. Amen. Yes. Because you can get some wrong things in that. Amen. You can get some hatred in there. Oh, yeah. You can get you some start. bitterness up in there. Yeah, Lord. Jealousy. Yeah, you can. In me. Yes, Lord. You can get some wrong stuff in there. Yes, and especially if you're in that wrong environment and you're around people yeah. who talk and old devilish stuff. My Lord, and, amen. And, and, and letting that stuff get in your ears and get in your heart. Lord. You're letting the wrong thing get in there. Amen. God said, come ye out from among them. That's why so many church folks fall. Huh, they don't guard their heart. Jesus, See, they, they the God that brought them out the world Amen. over to his kingdom. He brought them out of darkness into light. But when they go back in darkness, the same devil over there talking the same talk, huh. doing the same huh. thing. Monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. And they let the wrong huh. thing get in their heart. Amen. And they hang around the tumor, it'll take root. Yes, Lord. And it'll become a stronghold. Oh, yeah. And then when they try to quit, no Lord help me. Amen. Why don't you go back and go back to the Why didn't you go to your heart? With all this. I mean, stay away from it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Protect your heart. Amen. Because out of your heart flows the issues of life. life. Amen. You let that junk get in your heart and you're going to be saying it. You let that junk get in your heart and you're going to be doing it. But if you let the word of God get in your heart, you're going to start doing it. You let the word of God get in your heart, you're going to be talking that. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, God to your heart. God to your heart. That's developing our faith. Getting our faith right. Getting strong in the Lord. Because we're in the spiritual warfare. Amen. God trying to give us uh, a good life, abundant life. 
Satan would come and steal, kill, and destroy. And you know, spiritual warfare, whether you know it or not. See? And if we sin, now Satan pointing a finger at you. So now when you pray, guess what? You doubt. You doubt. And, you, and, 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 and once Satan can get to it, doubt, he can get to an unbelief. Believe, amen. That's right. And if he got to an unbelief, you ain't got no faith. <laughs> and without faith, it's impossible to please God. Oh, amen. Amen. See, we got to have faith that God is going to do it for us. Mm -hmm. Many times folks go up there and pray to God, and they already doubt in the hall because Satan put them, mm -hmm. you might as well quit praying. Look what you did last night. My Lord Jesus, amen. Huh? Amen. I'm trying to bring up the past. Oh, yes. See, but, but if we have repented of our past, and what repent means, to turn. Amen. Repent means to turn and go the other way. Amen. And if we have repented of our past, Romans 8 and 1 say, Now there is no one Amen. condemnation. Amen. Amen. That's what sanctified means, separated. Mm -hmm. Separated from the world. Amen. You've been called out. Yes, Lord. You've been called out. You've been called out. You've been called out. You've been called out. That's why. I used to try to figure out, but something ain't right. I don't know. You know, I don't feel right. Oh, yes, but I have been called out. Mm -hmm. Amen. I was trying to fit in a place I didn't I didn't, I didn't supposed to be no more. Yes, Lord, amen. Amen. I have been called out. I have been separated. I have been sanctified. The blood of Jesus was on me. The blood of Jesus had cleansed me. I was filled with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody say, thank God. Thank God. For being born again. For being born again. Oh, I thank him for a new birth. Amen. Yeah. And then he says, he said, keep your heart and put away from thee a forward mouth. That's talking about lying, that's my mouth. Amen. Perverse lips. Put far from you. Mm. Let your eyes look right on and let thy eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder. Now, we was having Bible study this morning, I was telling the girls to read the Proverbs. Read my 31 Proverbs. Read my Proverbs every day. Mm -hmm. It's wisdom in them Proverbs. Amen. And if they stay with them Proverbs and the Word of God, they have a good life. Amen. Oh, they have a good life. Yeah. Satan can't take them this way. Amen. He can't take them to go that way. They ain't going to stay with Jesus. Amen. And they're going to be blessed and understand how to keep the blessing. Hallelujah. The Proverbs is, is, is words of wisdom. Amen. See, and that's what we need, church. We need wisdom how to make the right decisions now in this life. Because we, Satan has led us to make so many wrong decisions. Hallelujah. It's time now that we get in the Word and we start making right decisions. Amen. But he said, ponder. And that ponder just means think about it. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Ponder. Turn the path of your feet. Uh -huh. Think about where you're going. And let all your ways. Let God establish. Amen. Yeah, let God establish. Because see, Satan might be trying to get you to let your feet take you somewhere and get you killed. Amen. Amen. But if you think about it, if this is going to glorify God, you reckon, you reckon I need to go to over here? Amen. Think about it before you go. Yes, Lord. Ponder the past you see. Amen. 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 That'll keep us out of a lot of trouble. Amen. That'll keep you out of a whole lot of trouble. Amen. That would have been enslaving some people's lives. Amen. 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 Yep. Somebody said it's in the Word. It's in the Word. Yeah. Amen. And, okay. And uh, number three, continue to feed 
on this word of God. See, we're talking about developing faith. We're talking about development of faith that we can believe God, that He's going to come in our he going to come in our life and do what we believe in him to do. Amen. Amen. Continue to feed. Somebody say, feed your spirit. Feed your spirit. And starve your flesh. And starve your flesh. Amen. 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 Continue to feed your spirit. Yes, Lord. On this word of God. Amen. But every time you listen to a gospel song, you feed your spirit. Amen. Every time you look at word on TV, you feed your spirit. Every time you go to Bible class, feed the spirit. Yes, Sunday God. school, feed the spirit. Amen. Come to the church. See, today, your spirit being fed today. Some of you are strong now, saying you the Because God been feeding your spirit. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 You ready? Thank you, Lord. You're yes. strong. Amen. You eat. Oh, yes. Yeah, you, you make the word of God and got the spirit. I get up in the morning, every morning, I feed my spirit. The word of God Yo. before I feed my flesh Amen. some bacon and eggs or whatever. Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's more important that we feed our spirit. Amen. Satan come to Jesus in Matthew 4 4 mm -hmm. and told him, You be the Son of God, and he ain't made it before the lady, before the night. No, he was home. Uh -uh. Say, Command these stones to be turned into bread. Yeah, no. Jesus told him, Man, don't live. By the way, By the way, But by every word. That proceeded at the mouth of God. God amen. Somebody says, feed your spirit. Feed your spirit. The word of God. Word it's more God. important amen. that we feed our spirits every day. Amen. Than feed our body. Amen. And we're going to feed this body at least three times. Amen. Amen. And we don't and we go all day and don't feed the spirit. Amen. My feed it on Sunday. Amen. Amen. Yeah, amen. But listen. We got to feed that spirit. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, speak on speak. Out of the way the world out. is now, you you, you got to be fed. Oh, yes. This word of God, so you can be strong. Yes. Against the types yes. of them, yes. Satan Amen. gonna come at you one way or another. Oh, yeah, yeah. Amen. Every day. Yes. But guess what? Baby, mm -hmm. if you been got up and got in that word just oh, five oh, minutes, Hallelujah. Amen. Got in that word. You can get you some spiritual food. Amen. You can go out. Uh -huh. And it don't make no difference how the Satan come at you. Oh, really? With whatever he come at you. Mm -hmm. You know God got it. Oh, yeah. Come yes. on, give it some oh, yes. God got it. But feed your spirit. Amen. Look to Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Make the word of God to find him. Bad belly full of rags later on, they'll regurgitate. Amen. Good. Chew Chewing some more. Amen. Getting all that stuff out of it. Mm -hmm. Swallowed it. Mm -hmm. Come back again. Regurgitate. Amen. Yes, Chewing some more. Getting all the good. Yes, yes. And see, that's what we got to do this work. Mm -hmm. you, you got to get in there and pray first. Mm -hmm. That's it. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal what that said. To your situation. Amen. That's right. And he'll uh, and, 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 and he make it apply to what you're going through. Amen. Amen. And then you read it. Yes, and you Lord. swallow that. Uh -huh. And then you think about it. And, and, and you regurgitate it. Uh -huh. Think about it some more. Oh, amen. Yeah, now it could mean this, it could mean Amen. 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 Then you swallow it again. Uh -huh. amen. amen. And keep just meditating on that word. Yes, Lord. And the more you meditate on the Holy Spirit, it'll show you more and more. Amen. It'll show you yes, more and more yes, what to do Amen. to bring it to pass in your life. Amen. Amen. And then developing that faith after we done, after we done give our life to Jesus and making Jesus the Lord and Savior of our life and putting Him first in our life. Hallelujah. Yeah. We done. Then we are. We, we got the word, and we're standing on the word, and we believe in the word, and we hear the word, we meditate in the word, and and, and and then the last thing we want to do to develop our faith in the word is to believe God. Amen. 
and the way we're going to believe God is like in, in uh, Philippians 4 and 6. Philippians 4 and 6. He said, rejoice. You can rejoice now. You can rejoice like it all, all somebody says it's already done. It's already done. Because he faith. Uh, Hebrews 11, 1 say, now faith. Faith is right now. You already got it when you pray. It's already done. You just got to believe. Amen. Yeah, Mark 11, 24 say, what so things you desire when you pray. Amen. Believe that you receive it right now. Amen. If you line up with the word of God, you can believe you got the name. Because God, he's going to watch over his word. Yes, he's not a man that he should lie. Amen. It's done now. Yes, it is. But you got to believe. Amen. You receive. And in the way you believe, you receive. And just by prayer and thanksgiving. Amen. You start to just thank you. Yes, Lord. Like Amen. I pray him all the time. I have prayed for it, and now I'm just walking in faith. Amen. And I'm just getting up, Lord. I thank you. I thank you for my blessing. I just thank you for my breakthrough. I just thank you for my pain. I thank you for my healing. Lord, I thank you for my time. I thank you right now. I just give him my praise. I'm like I already got it. You got to act like you got it before you got it when you walk in that faith. That's the kind of faith that pleases God. Like it's already done in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God is a reward. He gonna reward you. Man, he is a reward. And many times it don't come today. And then you standing on the word and you believe in God and you pray. Don't get discouraged. Tell your neighbor, don't get discouraged. Hebrews 11, 75, don't throw away your confidence. Amen. You got to keep that faith. You got to keep on praying. You got to keep on thanking God for it. Keep confessing that word. Lord, I thank you for my job. I thank you for my house. I thank you for my marriage. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the folks say, it might not come when you want it. Amen. But he's going to be right on time. Oh, yes, come on, give him some time. The man of your faith. Believe God. And watch God answer your prayer. Thank you. But the just shall live by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. And we walk by faith. Amen. And not by sight. Amen. It don't matter what it look like. Yeah. Don't matter what I think, what other people say. But it's what the word says. Say, Let the word of God be your final thought. Amen. Stand on the word of yeah. God. Amen. Start calling those things that be not. And don't they work. Yes, Start calling yourself healed. Yeah. If the doctor say you sick. Start calling yourself rich when people say you're poor. Start calling yourself happy when people say you're depressed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now listen, today, there may be somebody in here who may be suffering with a spirit of depression. But the thing God want to do today, He want to break off that spirit of depression. Hallelujah. Look at that depression. But the thing God want to do today, He want to break off that spirit of depression. Hallelujah. Come on, give my hand and have a prayer. Let me know if I said it in the book of God's name. Let me know if I said it in the book of Thank you.
Yeah!